what is beauty? How do we measure it? Is there even a measure? It is so subjective that it could almost be said it is a concept that needs redefinition. Many would argue that beauty lies beyond the obvious. It lies in your attitude towards yourself and others. It lies in your beliefs. It lies within each and every one of us and just needs a little nudge. I would argue to be able to express myself is a measure of my beauty, self-worth and confidence is too. Being comfortable in our own skin and embracing yourself with all your uniqueness is as well. So, can we forge an atmosphere where differences are not questioned, where curiosity is not encouraged, where beauty powers you to be more of yourself, where self-expression is the norm and not the exception? Idealist I may be, but celebrating my beauty is celebrating me. Wouldn't you agree? So today we are gathered here to commemorate a brand that has celebrated beauty in the country for 70 years, Lakme. A brand that was created out of a conversation between Pandit Nehru and the Tatas, who, in their quintessential pioneering spirit, took it upon themselves to launch a cosmetic brand in India that would meet the highest international standards and give Indian women the power to express and celebrate their beauty. Many know that the word Lakme is the French word for the name Lakshmi. But few know the Lakme is inspired by Opera Lakme that premiered in Paris in the late 19th century in 1883. It is written by Leo Delib and is set in British India of the 19th century. A Brahmin priest, Nilkant rebels against the occupying British who have forbidden him from practicing his religion. He has one daughter, Lakme. Lakme falls in love with the British officer, Gerald, much to the chagrin of the Brahmin father who tries to tear them apart and even attacks Gerald, wounding him. Lakme escapes with Gerald to a secret hideout in the forest and nurses him back to health. They are in love and they decide to bind themselves to each other. And she leaves to collect the sacred water for their vows. In the interim, Gerald's friend and a soldier, Frederick, convinces him of his folly in binding himself to Lakme and that he has a larger duty to his country and to the military. When Lakme returns with the holy water, she realizes that she has lost him forever and she decides to end her life. The leading lady, Lakme, was the inspiration behind Lakme. The Lakme opera has one of the most famous opera duets of all time, composed by Leo Delib and highly recognizable even today. One gets a sense of deja vu, revisiting the score of the flower duet. The music for this opera has brought so much joy to so many, and we are fortunate to partake in it tonight. In the words of the flower duet, under a dome where the white jasmine to the rose gathers, where the spring sleeps and the bird sings. With that, I leave you with this. Come, venture with us into a world of fantasy, celebrating 70 years of a brand that was spearheaded by Mrs. Simone Tata, of a brand that has embodied and celebrated beauty while constantly redefining it. If color to be beauty, what music is to mood, play on. Was the first tagline used by Lakme and it rings true even tonight. We play on tonight, delving into our roots, cherishing all that is timeless yet modern and recreating magic with an experience that is rich and compelling. To everyone here tonight, thank you for joining us and a very warm welcome to this evening of celebration. Let us toast to an evening of Lakme. Let us toast to an evening to Lakme's seven decades of reimagining beauty with a very special collection created by Rajesh Pratap Singh for this momentous milestone.